Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's inside and reviewing my changing bag. When I had Libby, my first little girl, I didn't spend much money on a change bag at all. We bought a really cheap one off eBay, I think, um, about 15 quid. Um, I just couldn't justify spending a lot of money on a changing bag that I'd be carrying nappies around in, um, especially when we had to fork out for the pram, the cot, all new clothes, all that kind of thing. Um, it's just not in my makeup to spend a lot of money on something like a bag. Um, so we didn't. However, when we had April, our second, she's now six months old, um, I decided that I would treat myself um, because I didn't have the nice bag the first time round. And this time we didn't have to spend lots of money on the initial outlay of baby paraphernalia. Um, we already had the cot, we reused that from Libby, we reused the pram, all her clothes, pretty much everything. Poor April's had pretty much everything second hand. Um, that's fine, that's the way, that's the second child for you. Um, so I did treat myself, I still couldn't bring myself to spend loads and loads and loads of money, like 70, 80, 90 pound on a change bag, which I can't believe that some of them do cost, um, but I did treat myself nonetheless. So. I went for the Baby Maneuver style changing bag. I bought it in, they call this petrol. There you go, looks like this. The front, back, side pockets. Um, yeah, the Baby Move style, this is called. It came in a variety of colours. I went for the petrol. They also had um, a cherry colour, black, grey, um, a creamy colour, and there was something else as well. I can't remember. Anyway, this is the one I went for because I'm not into hugely girly things. And also, also I thought, why well, I wouldn't mind carrying this around if we had to. Not that you would mind, mind carrying anything around, but there we go. This is for him. It's quite good. You can carry it in a variety of ways. It's got these handles here. It's also got these bits here, which you can hang on to the pram like this, which is really good. It's like a clasp thing on either side, you can see. But also it comes with a long strap with a shoulder pad, which clips on to the side of the bag. Like this, that way it does clip on. I'm not gonna do it now. Um, so that can also go for the pram, although it would be a bit long and dragging on the floor, or carry it over your shoulder. So that's pretty good. So what I'll do is I will take everything out of the bag show you the pockets and compartments and all that kind of thing and then I will go through what I actually keep in there and take out with me on a daily basis. Okay here's the bag and all the bits that come with it. I should just tell you that April has decided to join me. She's again not had a nap um, so if you hear any chattering in the background that's what it is. So here's the bag. It comes with a few accessories so we've got a little dummy bag which you can actually hook onto the edge of the pram. Oops. I'm trying to do this one handed. It hooks onto the edge of the pram, um, which is quite good. April now does not have a dummy. She did for quite a long time because she had a really bad colic um, and it was the only thing that helped her, but it was playing havoc at night time with her sleeping. So we've gone cold turkey with it. So no dummy at the moment. So we're not really using that. It comes with an insulated bottle bag. You can see the insulation in there. Again, we haven't used this at all um, because April has been exclusively breastfed. Um, we've now started weaning her, um, so we will have to take out some food and stuff. But again, this won't be used for that. Um, it comes with this clear plastic bag with a zip on the top. I think it's designed for putting any wet clothes in, um, anything that's been ruined by a nappy explosion, um, to keep the rest of your bag clean. I've actually been using it, you can see it's a bit filthy, but that's sun cream. I've been using it to keep sun cream in over the summer um, so that it doesn't um, leak everywhere over everything in the bag. And also it comes with a change mat. It's quite a nice size change mat as well. It folds up compact, but it is quite nice size. Um, that's really good and it fits very nicely into the back pocket here. Right. So it's quite a nice big back pocket and the change mat fits perfectly.
perfectly in there. So this is the bag. It's got a magnetic clasp here. It lifts up over the top and it's got a nice big zip opening. There's the zip. There we go. It goes all the way across. And it is a nice size inside and it's got a few compartments. So there's a little pocket at the back here. There's one at the side. That's quite good for putting a bottle or something in. But I don't keep a bottle in there again because I breastfeed. Um, there's not one the other side. And then there's a couple of pockets here as well. It's quite a big deep one there. And then a Velcro section which reveals a second pocket. Um, so yeah, there's quite a lot of compartments that you can divide your bits up into. On the front, that's the magnetic bit. It's gone a bit discoloured unfortunately, but you don't see that when it's flipped over. And there's a big pocket on the front. Pretty much the depth of the bag. And then we've got some side pockets here. So this is a zip one, which is quite a nice little one. I tend to keep the tissues and things in there. And then on the other side... An elasticated pocket. It's a nice size, it's not too big um, because I didn't want a really really massive cumbersome one to be carrying around with me um, but it's not too small that you can't keep everything you need in and um, so I take everything out in this that I need for both April and Libby. Libby doesn't really need anything anymore um, but yeah it's perfectly big enough. So I'll go through now what I actually keep in the bag. Okay, so you've seen the bag itself. Now what do I actually take out with me in it? First things first, it's a changing bag. So, nappies. Quite a lot of them. Um, obviously, very rare that I use all of these in a day when I'm out and about. But I like to keep stocked up so I'm not constantly having to refill the bag. So, in they go. Oh, there's a couple more there that I missed. And one I truly stocked up. Um, then also... Wipes. So they're in there as well. And plastic bags. Nappies, dirty nappies in. Put them in a little pocket on the inside there. Then also in case of nappy explosions or sick accidents, things like that, we have a couple of changes of clothes. So I got a short sleeve vest in there. And a long sleeve vest. Um, and also just a navy little pair of trousers because they will generally go with anything that she happens to be wearing. Um, if the top is okay, then I'll just change the vest and the trousers. Um, in case of a full change jobby, which does happen, just keep a baby grow. Normally I keep two in here actually, so I need to put another one in there. Um, Yes, so I need to top that up, but only two baby grows. And I keep a little cardigan in there, which is a cute little rabbit one. And that goes in. And also, my skin cloth. Could probably do with another one, but I try and keep everything to the bare minimum, really. Um, famous last words that she's not being that sick at the moment, so I've only got one cloth. Um, but it's quite good when it's sunny, a little bit of shade, um, a nice cover up when you're feeding. Not that I really worry about that, to be honest. I manage to be quite discreet without needing to use the muslin. I just feel personally that it draws more attention to the fact that I'm feeding. I'm very much of the opinion if anybody has a problem with it, that's their problem, not mine. I don't whip my boob out. This is a whole other story that we can do in another video, breastfeeding. Um, but yeah, um, and then a couple of dribble bibs. I picked out just a couple of relatively plain ones so they would go with any outfit that she's wearing. Um, so that's April's change of clothes. I also take out a spare pair of pants and socks for Libby, just in case. It's been a very long time since she's actually had an accident, especially while we're out and about. But I keep them in there just in case. Also, for myself, this here, so glam. 
Let's have black pants. Careful of tampons. Unfortunately, my periods are a bit all over the place at the moment, so I never know when one's going to come. We've only just come back. Um, I'm six months in, but I've been breastfeeding, so they've taken a long time to come back. Um, they can catch me quite unawares, and they can be quite heavy, so we keep pants and tampons in there just in case. Um, whoopsie! Oh, excuse me, I've been falling off the bed here. Um, what else do we take with us? So I also keep April's red book in the bag, and I got given this um, St John's Ambulance first aid guide, um, which is really helpful. I don't know if any of you saw that Tesco did um, a campaign with St John's Ambulance where they gave out those free CPR baby grows and April's got one of them as well. Um, but this isn't just about CPR, this is about all sorts. Um, it's really, really good if they still have sort of nursery rhymes. Um, but how to put them in a recovery position, what to do when baby's not breathing, what to do if your baby's in shock. Um, useful advice, bless you! <laughs> Useful advice for um, newborn babies, if they're drowning, and they have a fever, if you suspect meningitis, really, really useful. Um, so actually I keep that in the bag as well. Um, so obviously the change bag comes inside with us, so I always know where to go for that. I also carry a teether, I'm teething quite a lot at the moment. Pen, randomly. You always need a pen, don't tell me you don't. Um, also, oh, hairbrush. Always carry a hairbrush. Not necessarily for me, but definitely for Libby because her hair is wild. So we need to try and tame it down somehow. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, um, I have been taking, I did have sun cream in my bag. So one for Libby and a baby one for April. Um, I think they're the same really. Um, and they kept in that plastic bag. I'm going to take these out because it's winter. We don't need them at the moment. They'll go back in springtime, I imagine. Oh, wow. My purse. I keep that in there. Um, what else? We always oh, wow. take out the toilet roll. Um, obviously, yeah. eight, uh, Libby is fully toilet out of nappies now. She's four. Um, but when we're out and about in parks and things, the toilets can be a bit hit and miss. So we take a toilet roll with us, just in case there aren't any, or just in case she needs to go in the bushes, something like that. Very glamorous. Um, pack of tissues, take them. Very useful. I keep some plasters in there. Um, some eye briefing. When I first had April, I was suffering with headaches so badly, um, and they do catch me a bit unawares. Um, so I always carry some with me. You can take them safely while you're breastfeeding, obviously at the lowest dose recommended. But um, yeah, I always have them with me. Alcoholic hand sanitizer. That's really really good um, for me after I've changed her nappy or um, for Libby before she eats because um, she's always playing in the park or in the woods or getting muddy so this is very good. A wipe to get the main dirt off if there's no sink in that available and then hand sanitizer. Oh also a little mini pot of pseudocreme I take out for nappy rashes. Goes in there too. And then for Libby I normally have a bottle of water and if we're out all day then I'll take a little bit of lunch if we're not going to stop somewhere for lunch with us um, but wherever we go I always have a random box of raisins I have them in my handbag for when it's just us two out and I've got paper changing bag they're just dotted around the place in the car everywhere there's always a box of raisins but as anybody with a toddler knows you always get those words, Mommy, I'm hungry. So, box of raisins, perfect. Oh, and a random IKEA pencil. Don't even know that's in there. Put that in there. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything I keep in my change bag. I try to keep everything at a minimum. 
because I don't want to be lugging around loads of unnecessary stuff. I will take extra bits accordingly, you know, depending on where we're going for the day. Um, but generally, that's my basics. Um, as I said earlier, April has been exclusively breastfed, so I've not had to take any... <laughs> You're being chatty. I've not had to take any formula or bottles or anything out with me. Um, I've taken the occasional bottle of express milk. Um, so there's been a couple of times where I've been for a swim while Libby's had her swimming lesson if Ryan's been with me. Um, so I've left a bottle of express milk just in case April wants feeding. It, it's only 45 minutes gone, so it's very unlikely, but you know, I'll take that just in case. Oh! <laughs> um, we have started weaning. Um, at the moment she's just having breakfast and tea because um, it's very very early stages we've only been um, doing solids for about two weeks now um, so I'm not taking any food out but I will need to be thinking about that quite soon for if we're out for lunch do you want to come and say hello let me go and get her come and say hello say hello <laughs> She's chewing on those fingers, those teeth. Can you see your teeth? <laughs> yeah, so that's everything that I keep in my changing bag. I hope that you found this helpful. If you're wondering what to pack in your changing bag, um, or if you're thinking about buying a baby new style, um, I know when I was looking for a change bag, I couldn't find any really good reviews on it. So I hope that that's been helpful if you're thinking of buying it. I really loved it um it's perfectly good for what i need um so yeah if you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up um leave any comments or questions in the box below um and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos if you have any ideas of videos you'd like me to do then let me know again um i've got a few ideas i'm just starting out but obviously they might run a bit thin eventually um so yeah please subscribe that'll be really lovely Thank you, see you next time.